In the 1970s, over several months, they fed a control group of rabbits a high-fat diet and monitored their blood pressure, heart rate, and cholesterol. As expected, many of the rabbits showed a buildup on the inside of their arteries, yet this was not all. Researchers had discovered something that made little sense. Although all of the rabbits had a buildup, one group surprisingly had as much as 60% less than the others. It appeared as though they were looking at two different groups of rabbits. They each received equal amounts of the same food. What could this mean? Did the results invalidate the study? Were there flaws in the experiment design? The scientists struggled to understand this unexpected outcome. Eventually, they turned their attention to the research staff. Was it possible that researchers had done something to influence the results? As they pursued this, they discovered that every rabbit with fewer fatty deposits had been under the care of one researcher. She fed the rabbits the same as everyone else, but as one sci scientist reported, she was an unusually kind and caring individual. When she fed the rabbits, she talked to them, cuddled and petted them. She couldn't help it. It's just how she was. She did more than simply give the rabbits food. She gave them love. In recent years, Dr. Kelly Harding published a book titled The Rabbit Effect that takes its name from the experiment. Her conclusion, take a rabbit with an unhealthy lifestyle, talk to it, hold it, give it affection. The relationship made a difference, ultimately. She concludes, what affects our health in the most meaningful ways has as much to do with how we treat one another, how we live, and how we think about what it means to be human, how we treat one another, how we live, and how we think about what it means to be human. Yet as Christians, followers of Jesus Christ, Latter-day Saints, the results of this scientific study may seem more intuitive than astonishing. For me, it lays another brick in the foundation of kindness as a fundamental healing gospel principle. Kindness as a fundamental healing gospel principle, one that can heal hearts emotionally and spiritually, and as demonstrated here even physically.